Thanks, Annie, Tony, Howard, and the rest of the gang. It's time for my final thought. Now, I've told you many stories of people coming together since coronavirus hit, but some of us have been in that spirit all along, and that bodes well for us moving forward. It was in May of last year that Oregon high school football coach Keenan Lowe confronted a student armed with a shotgun in a hallway at Park Rose High. When the story was first reported, it was said that the coach tackled the student, then disarmed him before he could harm anybody, but that's not quite how it happened. What happened was when Lowe walked into that hallway, he saw a troubled young man intending to take his own life. And instead of reacting with fear, understandably, and possibly anger, he chose love and compassion. He talked with the boy and was able to get the gun away, which he handed off to a fellow staff member. And then he wrapped the child in a hug, holding him close, showing him that he wasn't alone, that they were in it together. It's due to these actions, this compassion, that Mr. Lowe has been selected to receive a Congressional Medal of Honor, Citizen Honor. He'll be joining five other honorees chosen by the Congressional Medal of Honor Society to receive the award. The medal, the highest award for valor in action, is usually presented to members of our armed forces, but the society is presenting it to him and the others because in their words, they exemplify the values embodied in the Medal of Honor. Courage, sacrifice, commitment, integrity, citizenship, and patriotism. This is a strong list of values. I like to add to it a couple more, like empathy, compassion, which I mentioned already, and love because it takes love to recognize the humanity in others, to walk up to a boy you don't know who's holding a shotgun, gently take it from him, and then wrap your arms around him, telling him that it's going to be all right. In a subsequent interview, Coach Lowe said he didn't know if he was a hero, but he did know he was meant to be in that room, meant to stop a tragedy that day. First, he is a hero. Second, I too believe he was meant to be there. I also believe that his story is meant to and should serve as an example to the rest of us to remind us of what we carry inside ourselves, to remind us of what it means to be all in this together. This man didn't need to be told this. He just knew it. And now you know it too. Thank you guys for joining us this morning on Get Up DC. Have a beautiful Wednesday. Stay home and stay safe.